Gosh. I'm sorry. Um, that was pretty unprofessional, wasn't it? Uh, you don't have to hide your feelings from me. Frankie almost died, Joe. Yeah. He was in V-Fib. Yeah. And you pulled him back. Well, we might not be so lucky the next time. Had nothing to do with luck. It had everything to do with your skill as a physician. With his specialization in toxicology and yeah. infectious diseases. Not that it's doing us any good right yeah, now. Okay, okay. I admit, this case is baffling. I still think you are the best doctor for the case. And we are going to beat this thing. Huh? We better. Yeah. Because we've got two lives depending on it. The patient is becoming more hypertensive. His liver enzymes are elevated, and there's been a decrease in urine output. So both his liver and his kidneys have been compromised. Worse. You're shutting down completely. What about his blood panels? Uh, his recent coag studies are off, and his platelet count is steadily declining. And now with the heart attack. But... His cardiovascular system has clearly been affected. Mm -hmm. But there's been a divergence in the way the two patients are reacting to the poison. I read about the water hemlock study in the CDC files. Two patients were affected with the same toxin, but reacted differently. Mm -hmm. I'm familiar with the study. How were they cured? They weren't. Both of the subjects died. Still, in those cases, the onset of the symptoms was much quicker than our cases. Unfortunately, that doesn't help us here. Yeah. So, what do we do? We keep the patients alive as long as we can. And we hope the science one of God's miracles falls in our laps. Oh, oh God, I hate crying. Oh, I feel like the last few months, you've just become the biggest, like... Such a baby, you can stuff on it. <laughs> yeah. Thanks. You know I love when you pick on me. <laughs> yeah, I like doing it. Still, no one will tell me anything around here keep whispering in corners and acting like they're not talking about me when I know they are. It's all about you, huh? Such an egomaniac. <laughs> I'm serious. So well, you got a big mouth, use it. Ask them. <sighs> Could I have a moment alone with the patient? I'll be back. Just breathe normally. So, Doc, I was thinking that maybe we could be on a first name basis. <laughs> breathe. I'm Greenlee, and so that would make you. Nicholas. My friends call me Nick. How are you feeling? Not so great, but I'm still here. <laughs> You tired? Yeah, and my throat's still a little sore from that. The tube down your throat. But I'm talking better, which is the good thing. And the bad thing for some people. <laughs> so, Nick, Frankie had a heart attack. Does that mean that I'll have one? Your conditions are similar, but not identical. So, is that a yes or a no? Well, for now, it doesn't appear as if your heart's been affected by the toxin. Okay, I'll take that as a positive sign. Good. Doctor. Oh, thank you. Is that about me? It's yeah, just some new uh, blood work. You don't like what you see? I'm a big girl, Nick. I can take it. You know, I'm just going to consult with Dr. Hubbard on this. For now, just sit tight, get some rest, and try not to worry, okay? Yeah. Sure. That'll help. Ooh, I really like 
really like this one. Oh, me too. You know, why don't we do a fusion green tie-in? We could give a shout out to saving the planet while helping women get healthier. Works for me, especially the woman getting healthier part. I like that one. Yeah. Hey, Kendall, how's Greenlee? are rising too rapidly. And there's decreased kidney function and anemia. She must be bleeding internally. Damn. Should we go in and try to find the source? We can't risk a surgery, Nick. She's too weak. Dr. Hubbard, if I can be candid, this patient is deteriorating even faster than your son. All right, our only other choice the is... Antitoxin, I know that. But I need to see a full workup on the overall effects before I can use it again. I don't know, Dr. Hubbard. Right now, this drug might be the best chance for her to survive. We have to at least try to explore other options. I've already risked Frankie's life. Now, I need the test results before we gamble with Greenlease. Is it that bad? Unfortunately, yes. Edge, I just want to know everything, okay? Why don't we go in here where we can talk privately, right. okay? Will you check on Frankie's labs for me again? Yeah, I'm on my way. layman's terms. Greenlee's organs are shutting down. We need an antidote to help counter the effects of the toxin. Yeah, I just heard you telling your colleagues that it might kill her. This is an unknown drug. Now, there are several variables that we're dealing with here. Uh, uh, Angie, I don't get it, all right? You've been working with your team in the lab for, for, for days now, all right? You consulted the CDC, Poison Control, the Department of Agriculture. I mean, are you telling me that you can't find a simple cure in this day and age? All the time. With modern medicine for a simple poisonous plant. Please, have a seat. Come on. I wish it were that simple. The toxin has mutated. It's binding to selective cells and assaulting Greenlee's entire system. Angie, just, you know, spare us the science and just tell us what are our real choices here, okay? We've developed an antitoxin. We gave it to Frankie. Yeah, and he gave him a heart attack. We can't be sure what brought on Frankie's cardiac episode. Uh, okay, so you're saying it might not have been this, this antidote? Well, his system was very weak. He may have had a pre-existing condition that we weren't aware well, of. Just, just to make sure I understand what you're saying. You're saying that this, this antitoxin, it might still work for Greenlee? Not until I see the full results from Frankie's trial. But quite clearly, Greenlee's running out of time. Look, I know that this is an ugly disease. And I know how frustrating it is to hear, I don't know, as a doctor and as a parent. Dr. Sigmund. Yes, sir, Angie, I'm sorry. I'm uh, sorry. I'm uh, losing it. Just... It's okay. I... We're doing everything we can. Everything. Trust me. Thank you, Angie. Go getting all emotional, uh, Jack. 
All right, I promise you something. Um, I won't get emotional if you don't forget you made me the promise to call me dad. Okay. Dad.